that's not just a mechanical system. So from that perspective, it doesn't require building a gigantic, overreaching system of spirituality on quantum mechanics. One can stick with it as it is and build very cautiously and slowly. It may take 200 years of cautious building before a genuinely solid new vision is constructed. But it will be something really solid. Now, uh, what about the fact that mystics will go into their mystical states and they all seem to report that basically they're in a heightened awareness or whatever they call it, and they say everything is one, where they perceive the universe as one. This seems to be able to perceive the superposition. So, you know, what does this have to do with mysticism? I mean, you've heard, uh, you know, all, all is one. And mystic will go into a, a, a meditative state and, and emerge from it with the the impression that, that all is one. I mean, I'm inclined to, to be a little bit uh, uh, sort of épaté les bourgeoisie here and say, well, it has nothing to do with it whatsoever. It's two completely unrelated phenomena. Well, maybe it isn't. Maybe there is some kind of a connection. But really, it, at this point, if you're going to be hard-nosed and rigorous about it, you have to say, well, it's just an analogy. We don't really know whether there's any connection whatsoever. It's a, it's a compelling analogy, and it's definitely the case that the mystical spirit, the, the, the impulse to pursue mystery, is absolutely aroused by quantum mechanical events. But whether they're really talking about the same thing to be absolutely fair, as much as I personally would love the answer to be yes, they are the same thing. I, I really would. But to be absolutely fair, we really can't say that. Because again, quantum mechanics doesn't give away the game so easily. It does, it, it's not giving you those kinds of answers. Maybe it has something to do with mysticism. Maybe it has absolutely nothing to do with mysticism. And I was saying, uh, uh, you know, in another comment that I made, I said that, that uh, you know, if you go up to quantum mechanics and try to get it to give you that answer, it's going to get angry at you because it, that's, it absolutely can't, doesn't do that, and it's very power. And the ultimate mysteriousness of it is, is uh, bound up inextricably with this kind of boundary that it sets up. It, it sets up this boundary that says, look... The world is unbelievably mysterious. You think you understand it? <laughs> you ain't even got close to it. So don't think that you can just slap some familiar category, some favorite familiar category, mysticism or religion or whatever, and make it conform to it, because it isn't going to conform to that either. It's going to be just as upsetting to the mystic as to the materialist. People are very comfortable with it. You say, oh, quantum mechanics violates materialism, it violates determinism, and it does. But it doesn't give a heck of a lot of solace to mystics either. It shouldn't. It shouldn't give solace to anybody unless you're the kind of person who absolutely loves genuine mystery. 